can't hold the th 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 girl with the heart of stone because part of her heart was partly gone. Yo, what is up guys? Switch here, bring you guys a 3D glasses effect or 3D effect. And uh, as you see right here, this text looks like it's like RGB split basically effect on your text and whatever. It's a really cool effect. And if you use it right, if you don't have to dramatically use it the way I did or use multicolors like I did. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the original right here. Original's right here. And what the effect is right here. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you use it right, obviously it doesn't look the best with the multicolor, but it doesn't look worse or it doesn't look bad. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use this text right here. You wanna drag in your text, and then you wanna make a copy of it. So you wanna right click a, a duplicate layer, or just click on it and press Control J. And on your top layer, you wanna go ahead and go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. If you were unable to select curves or whatever, that means if you're like in Photoshop 6, sometimes you gotta rash, uh, rasterize the layer. So if it has like a little thing right in this little corner, you gotta just right click and uh, rasterize layer so that'll fix your problem if you can't click on like the adjustments. So yeah, you wanna go on the top layer and go to adjustments and curves. And then you wanna go to red and then drag this line out a little bit so you can change the uh, output input. You gotta change the output to zero and the input to 251. Press OK. And then go to uh, the screen adjustment thing and change it from normal to screen. And then you wanna go to the bottom layer and you wanna go to image, adjustments, curves. And then you want to go to green this time. You want to just drag the uh, line out again. It's the exact same. So 0 and 251. And then don't press OK. You want to go to your blue now. Drag it out a little bit and do the exact same. So 0 and 251. Press OK. And then you want to go to the top layer. And all you got to do is move your arrow keys. Make sure you click on the background. If you move the arrow keys, you're going to be changing this. So just click on the background, move your arrow keys until it like splits enough or just want to drag it. You can drag it and it just splits. You can just see the effect happening. I like the arrow keys thing better. So as you can see, look at that. Looks pretty cool. It'll probably look cool with like a dark, you know, just look. You can also put it as like a finalizing thing. So if you merge, like uh, if you're in a background and you want to like merge everything visible and then do the effect. So like the text also can be all 3D like. So I'm sure you saw it before. So that's why I said that. So yeah, hopefully this helped. And uh, you guys can go play around with that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later. So switch you out. Peace.